Hi there, this is Michael Nitu, and today we're going to be doing a bit of criticizing, a short critique of three of these cube house designs. So we're talking about this house, this one, and this one. Right, so uh, let's get started. Right, so the first design. Obviously the red circles indicate mistakes. So here we are missing a, a piece of our cube, so that's why the this house here, you can obviously see it in this facade here and here, it doesn't look as a cube anymore, so this is, again, it would fail as a submitter's design. You need to sort out this part here so you've got a cube going. Also, you need to, sh to uh, throw in a bit of transparency here, so you can see through your glazed surface. Because again, there's no point in doing um, a building which looks you know, boring, which doesn't have any um, spatial depth to it. This element here just looks like it's equally spaced, which is a problem. I would go like this, all the way up and across the, uh, the roof. Again, we've got these three elements here, which are in perspective and look really bad. These three trees, they, they, you know, it's poor entourage and it's poor perspective altogether. You've got this part here which is not detailed. Obviously the, the author did their best, they uh, threw in a reflection which works. All this advice I'm giving is just about taking the work to the next level. You know, you could work with it as it is, but you know, it's not as good as it could be. And this part here again is uh, lacking some detailing. We're talking about the foreground of a perspective and needs a lot of detailing. So this is what I would suggest. Basically, you do this part here and make it look like it's a cube with the cornered, with the corner, sorry, highlighted by a little window. You've got this railing here that uh, connects it all together. You would connect all this part here so it looks like a continuous motion, and you also throw in a bit of transparency. This part here would need a bit of detailing, so you, you've got obviously uh, some sort of uh, build area here with a, a cast shadow, right? You can see it's actually make it actually makes a lot of sense. You need a, a stronger foreground, and you also need a, a tree here just to contrast the building somehow. You can hide these uh, mistakes from here with another tree. You can throw in a bit more entourage, some people, just to uh, make it a bit more interesting. You don't need to have isolated people like this. You can throw them in the groups of three. It works. Again, a bit of shrubs here just to give a bit more detailing. And again, this would be. Uh, my take on this design, just to make it look a bit better. This design, it's, uh, it's lacking transparency here, so we've got uh, no idea if this is a spatial 3D uh, perspective or it's just a flat surface. We can't tell if this is glass, it's not reflecting, it's not transparent, it's not anything. You need a bit more detailing here. I think you need to show the construction lines a bit better and the contour lines. Also, this uh, ground floor surface here is just weird. It's not showing any any detailing at all. It needs some uh, a tileable surface that just makes things look a bit more spatially. Uh, adds that spatial depth, makes uh, the perspective look a bit better. Also, this part here could uh, could use a bit more a bit more transparency and detailing. And keep in mind, this is a, pers a faulty perspective over here these lines don't converge to the same perspective point. Well, let's see how it will look. So you've got a transparency here, which really works. Well, it works really well because it, it gives uh, yeah, this idea of seeing through a building, which is really nice. You, every time you get to use that in your work, use it. You can throw in a bit more people, so you've got a slightly less barren wasteland here. You've got a a tileable surface with cast shadows, with uh, you know, some um, some tiles are smaller, look different, just to uh, break that even surface with uh, you know two lines. You've got a stronger line drawing. Obviously, this is done uh, on um, on a computer, so it will look a bit different when you've uh, corrected this, these mistakes on your drawing board. Again, you need to uh, throw in a, a transparency here, you know, just to show a bit more detailing. Obviously, you could detail this living room area and whatever. All these detailing works really well, and detailing with transparency work really, really well. Moving on. Right, so this house is a disaster. It's really bad. You've basically got where to start. 
got this window here that's symmetrical, you don't want that. You've got this other window here that just doesn't make sense, it just goes like this and just stops just really close to the concrete slab, which would be the first floor slab. Again, doesn't make sense, you've got this faulty window here, you've got a uh, transition to another material which just doesn't make sense. Cause you Again, you, uh, you, you justify transitions to other materials by changing the volume. So basically this should have been like volumetrics in so, uh, volumetric in some way. You've got this area that's really basic, needs a bit more detailing. Uh, these stairs need railings because you can't really you know, just skip on them and just walk here. The entourage over here looks bad. It needs something to make a, the foreground a bit stronger. Alright, so an idea would be yeah, this looks quite different. Basically, this area looks really uh, poor in detail, so you just need to throw in a, a tree. And again, people, right? Different sized people make sense, because obviously you need to highlight perspective with your drawing. You can take this uh, part here and just make it a dip different volume, right? So you've got like a little box just sticking out of your, of your building. Your building looks fairly horizontal now, you know, it's not as chaotic as it was before. It's got all these horizontal lines to it, horizontal line here, here, here. So it's got basically like a, it looks like a tractor. It's got like, which is really good. You want to make it look as dynamic as possible. You've got this uh, volume over here, which sits on glass over here, and this other volume over here. Right, so you've got this horizontal strip of windows going around. Again, another horizontal strip of windows going around here and around here. You've got this transparent railing here, which makes sense because it's basically the same type you've got here. Right? You've got actually a railing in uh, in your foreground, a bit more detailing here, and uh, these stairs then just walk up from whenever, wherever. They just come from this uh, area here, so it makes sense. You just climb five stairs to get here. Right, you've got a really strong foreground with the uh, entourage here, here, these railings which work really well to show spatial depth, and this texture here. Also, keep in mind this little um, detail over here. It's like it's covering the entrance on your terrace. This works really well. You could actually use these sort of elements to highlight your entrance, but in this case, you don't need them because obviously your entrance is already highlighted by this flight of stairs and uh, yeah I think this flight of stairs is a bit too wide for the size of your building this still makes sense right so now for now these are some ideas you could use for all your design work from now on you can basically just uh, copy these uh, buildings the final versions of them and just implement these uh, small ideas here and there and you'll get work of a similar similar caliber right this is Michael Nitu Take care and draw nicely.